is 7 o'clock on the East Coast, which means polls have just closed in half a dozen states. November the 3rd, 2020, and the respected decision desk at Fox News was just a few hours away from a call that would rock the cable network and its Trump loyal audience. But what is this happening here? Why is Arizona blue? Did we just call it? Did we make a call in Arizona? Well, let's see. Now there's a check mark. Did our decision desk make it? Okay, time out. This is a big development. Yeah. The Fox News decision desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. This has been an oasis of integrity at Fox News, and they made the call for Arizona. Some people feel that that was premature even with their data, but anyhow, they were eventually proven right. And that really angered the audience. They started abandoning their network for Newsmax, which was, you know, indulging all of these election theft conspiracies. Fox's coverage in the weeks after the Arizona call is at the heart of a high-stakes defamation battle now playing out in Wilmington, Delaware. Marking and casting the ballot. Dominion Voting Systems is suing Fox for 1.6 billion US, claiming it allowed conspiracy theories to be broadcast, alleging their machines were rigged, even after Fox's own fact-checkers debunked them. Dominion argues Fox endorsed, repeated and broadcast a series of verifiably false yet devastating lies about Dominion. The case cites a series of Fox broadcasts in the weeks following the election, featuring Trump lawyers Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani. Yes, there has been a massive and coordinated effort to steal this election from we the people of the United States of America to delegitimize and destroy votes for Donald Trump. Sydney, we talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Tell me about that. That's to put it mildly. Dominion is a company that's owned by another company called Smartmatic. It was formed really by three Venezuelans who were very close to, um, very close to the di dictator Chavez of uh, Venezuela. And it was formed in order to wow. fix elections. For Dominion to win, it has to pass a very high legal bar convincing a jury not only that Fox aired false statements, but that it did so knowingly or with a reckless disregard for the truth. Well, it's intended to be a very high burden because of the value under the First Amendment that we place on the free flow of information and freedom of expression. But it's not supposed to be an impossible burden. The voter will cast their ballot by feeding the ballot through the secrecy sleeve. Dominion believes it has the smoking gun, a slew of internal communications. Sydney is a complete nut, wrote host Laura Ingram. Tucker Carlson said Sidney Powell is lying. Mind-blowingly nuts, said senior executive Raj Shah. And corporation head Rupert Murdoch called President Trump and Rudy Giuliani increasingly mad. Really crazy stuff. I feel Dominion has a pretty strong case. I've been watching, you know, <laughs> uh, libel suits for more than a decade, and I've written about a lot of them. I haven't seen one this convincing. Um, it doesn't mean I'm, making, I'm not making any predictions about the outcome. Um, but a lot of cases have settled <laughs> on much less evidence. I would have thought that, given the fact that Fox knew what was in these documents and what was in these texts and emails, and that it had to produce them to Dominion, that it would have settled either before it had to produce that information or certainly before it became public. In court filings, Fox claims Dominion has cherry-picked statements. So long as the press makes clear that the allegations are just allegations, it's free to offer its opinion that the allegations are credible and merit investigation. Dominion argued that in his deposition, Rupert Murdoch conceded that some Fox hosts endorsed the narrative of the stolen election. But the 92-year-old defended the coverage overall. This was big news, he said. The President of the United States was making wild claims 
But that is news. I mean, if you look at what Fox did in such a very narrow way, then in fact, Murdoch is absolutely correct. At a certain point, especially uh, a cable TV program with, with an audience of millions, you do have a responsibility to think, should we even be putting these people on our TV, pumping their ridiculous crackpot theories into millions of homes every night? The trial here is set to be a spectacle. Texts and emails from some of Fox News's biggest stars, as well as corporation head Rupert Murdoch, dissected in open court. And some of them could be called as witnesses. Beyond that, the outcome could have a lasting impact on the way the media operates in this country. I think any time a large, uh, any time a news organization loses a defamation suit, it's gonna embolden other plaintiffs um, and it's gonna um, increase the possibility of uh, other lawsuits. So, you know, I'm one of those people who has a be careful what you wish for kind of attitude towards this. Elections are key to strengthening democracy, giving voice to citizens and legitimacy to elected officials. Fox is facing a similar suit from the electronic voting company Smartmatic, seeking $2.7 billion in damages. You have to put that in Fox News context, which is that every damaging scandal thus far appears only to have solidified their, their audience. The amount of brand loyalty to Fox News is out is, is, is sky high. But while those figures make for good headlines, they don't always have much in common with the end result. I don't think it would result in much damage to Fox. Uh, it you know, it's a very large company and um, 1.6 billion, although it's a lot of money, uh, is not gonna put it out of business.